I've never actually met any science deniers who don't believe that such methods can increase knowledge. In my humble opinion, greater risks stem from more numerous and influential rights deniers. Denying risks of democide also costs countless lives most decades. I condemn any restrictions on basic rights for anyone, whatever they believe, absent direct physical harm. We must be smart enough to find solutions which protect both the vulnerable and basic rights. Here in Maryland, Governor Hogan's stay-at-home order was to be enforced by state and local law enforcement. Knowingly and willfully violating this order is a misdemeanor, and on conviction, offenders may be subject to imprisonment not exceeding one year, or a fine not exceeding $5,000, or both. This might not seem like a big deal, especially if it's not enforced very often. But this is a legal precedent the governor also plans to enforce for future seasons of COVID-19 or other viruses. This is fundamentally unacceptable for a presumably natural threat which kills less than 1% of people it attacks. I'm happy to voluntarily wear a mask in public places if appropriate, but please condemn the suspension of our basic rights. Populations who have their rights removed are more likely to be harmed by governments. Being jailed or fined with the threat of jail does harm. I am deeply offended that I lived under these threats for a month and a half. As someone living with psychological trauma from police, this has not been good for my health. I don't know how many millions of American lives have been taken or destroyed by the war on drugs over my lifetime. That's from an attempt to help a public health issue. But the response to COVID-19 includes many steps to further close our free society. If the media and public is encouraging the United States to behave more like China, at some point they need to take seriously the risk assessments of totalitarian or authoritarian governance. The exponentially scaled impacts of governance is not trivial and not a joke. If you don't trust your neighbors enough to live in a free country with representative governance, and you cannot afford to move to a more repressive society, then perhaps you should support your state's secession. If you want to threaten me with arrest for leaving my home, then I do not consent to cohabitation with you. Of course, any forced vaccinations in the future would also violate my informed consent. I do not even want to be friends with people who want to force anything inside my body without consent. Would you like some tea? Here's all the science so you can choose to enjoy it and make the world better. Just some food for thought. Much love.